hi guys welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel so today's video is about rebranding yourself getting ready for 2024 and making sure you're out of your lazy girl era before 2024 begins because i feel like we've all been on like holiday mode through november and december and you can't just get into 2024 and decide okay i want to be a better person 2024 needs to find you ready and in that routine and in that zone of being a better person so right now i'm in my bathroom and i'm gonna do my skincare and take a shower ideally for me i usually work out then take a shower like i wake up work out take a shower but for today i'm gonna take a shower and then work out later in the evening this is like because of how i'm feeling honestly but it doesn't really matter what time of the day you work out as long as you work out and it doesn't really matter like what type of workout you do as long as you get your body moving and your blood circulating properly so dance workout pilates yoga an intense gym workout with equipment whichever suits you as long as you work out every single day um it doesn't have to be every day though you can skip weekends or like something like a rest day but it's important that you get your body moving so so for my skincare i've been doing this flaxseed treatment basically the first time i ever did it i put the flaxseed in the water in the pot and then I was told that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to boil the water and then put them in the flat seat in a jar and then let it rest and then you strain it. And that's what I did. If like this thing, if snot was a substance, it would be this. I feel like it even smells like snot. I can't lie. I just like look. So like if you're someone who's not into textures and stuff, I wouldn't recommend like it feels so nasty. But it does work wonders on my skin. Like I'm not even joking. My skin like was breaking out because I've been unwell and I've also been taking daily a lot. So yeah, flax. So basically this is how it looks um i'm gonna wait for like the mask to dry and become super hard and then like wash it off this is how it looks okay. yeah it's really nasty honestly but like it works on this so yeah so for now as i'm waiting for the mask to dry i'm gonna make my bed because if you know me you know that i struggle with baking my bed but it's very important to make your bed because you'll never jump back into it if it's made and if you don't make your bed every time you feel like a certain type of way you're gonna go back to bed so let me make my bed i don't know how clear it is but like you see how it's giant cracking yeah that's like what you're looking for my forehead is like still kind of wet so like let me go rinse this off in the shower do like my cleanse and everything and then i come back so like i've got out of the shower i did like my skincare this is your reminder to put on sunscreen because the sun is not coming out to play with us then i have this yellow jumpsuit on so for now the agenda is for me to clean like my room is already clean but i want to arrange my desk because it's a mess i was doing math magic at night so i want to just put everything away of course i'm coming back to study some more because 2024 is the year of academic comebacks a must so i just want to put things in place like this mirror over here when i put it where it's supposed to be and everything then i go downstairs i clean the living room and everything because my cousins are coming over so that needs to be arranged and then we'll pick up from there.
so i was downstairs i've cleaned and everything my fingers are dry i can't even like express how dry my fingers and my nails are but i have cleaned so now i'm thinking i eat and then i do like some studying i'm really trying to make an academic comeback next year because this year i tank you guys so let me go eat and then we get to studying you guys i've been trying to stay off of like sugar but it's like 70 degrees in celsius 70 degrees celsius out here this is what i'm having it's good yeah it's good but for now i'm just gonna chill probably watch like some tiktoks and stuff and then go outside and then i might go shopping later on today so i could just see how that goes so right now i'm heading to go to the supermarket it's kind of like six um i'm not procrastinating this study thing because it looks like i am but i'm really not i really want to sit down and do my work but today ended up being way more eventful than i thought it would be so i'm gonna head back i'm gonna head there head back and then come and do my study thing also i've been thinking of like deleting my youtube channel in that i'm really not i'm not vibing with it and i'll ask people like on instagram and stuff but like they're not really subscribed because they're like oh my gosh don't delete your channel we love your channel so much don't spin it but the truth is they don't view my videos if they viewed one or two yay but they're not subscribed so i'm asking you as a subscriber and as a viewer what do you think of my channel the number one okay there there are like a few options number one i delete it completely number two I take down my videos and only do like annual recaps. Number three, I continue vlogging and stuff. So you guys let me know what you're thinking. Um, am I sh wait, I should say, I should say, um, I won't delete my channel if I get a hundred thousand subscribers. I'm usually gonna go like this, like in sandals they're so comfortable and like it's just like the supermarket it's like my supermarket fit it's cute look here can wear but like yeah I, I like these earrings they're cute So I just got home like I wanna say 15 minutes ago. I had KFC for dinner and I've done like some work with like computer. So I'm really contemplating on doing like physics, but it's like 9:20 right now. I don't think my brain can fathom any physics. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna read my set book for English. Cause I like it, like it's really good. The Samaritan is a good book. Like I've read books that made me go, Ugh. but for a sad book, it's very good. Like I can, I can read it in my pastime. That's what I'm gonna do. But like I think I'm gonna do that, and then I take a shower, and then I change and sleep. Cause it's nine, so I'll be done reading by like nine no by like 10 because it's 9 21 so by 10 i'll be done and then i go take a shower by 11 i'll be in bed i'm really trying to work on my sleep schedule you guys because i wake up at 7 30 true but i sleep at 11 automatically my body wakes up at, at around 7 7 38 naturally so i don't know i feel really tired but like i'm awake and i can't go back to sleep so i'm working on that also um i haven't eaten like a lot of things in a while like say soda and stuff i don't take sugary things or like spicy things anymore because of my sore throat it's been two weeks since i've had like literal sores in my throat like my vocal knees are 
injured like they're gone at a point they were bleeding out like actually so it feels really good to eat KFC like people are gonna be like oh my gosh ew you're having KFC for dinner you guys I'm honestly so grateful that I can just digest it and have it go through my throat without me feeling like throwing up or without me like coughing everything up and then having to stop eating so yeah taken a shower uh, and right now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna like read a book before I sleep usually I like to like read a book or journal or I take a shower do my skincare and then hop into bed immediately I try my very best to avoid using my phone before I sleep because I feel like it makes me sleep so badly like I sleep so uh. when I look at a screen and go to sleep it's like I don't know the sleep is kind of weird but then doing something else other than looking at a screen and then going to sleep makes me sleep more i think efficient or something yeah so basically the whole point of this video of you getting out of your lazy girl era is to find a routine that works for you and like maybe your condition the state you're in the place you're at so try and incorporate like a good diet a good sleeping schedule don't wake up late don't sleep late like sleep early wake up early um what else working out and then try and add like some hobbies here and there or like some activities in the day that will help you better yourself like other than academics and stuff like other than studying say you baked or you cook something that's gonna help you become a more productive person the whole point of getting out of your lazy girl era is for you to become more productive and to be a better person also try and take time like 10 minutes out of your day sit in silence and just reflect and ask yourself what's going on try to have like complete understanding of your well-being mentally emotionally and physically don't have other people telling you how you feel you know like you should be very self-aware so getting out of your lazy girl era is not me coming and telling you take a shower brush your teeth and fix your hair if you don't do that already you need another video to help you because it's not the one you should be doing that already but you should also understand that like every day has its own challenges and every day throws different things at you and getting out of your lazy girl era or like just being a more productive person is not letting those challenges like take you down it's facing them and then moving on you're not gonna do your routine flawlessly every single day like today it didn't work out i missed working out but i'm gonna do it tomorrow you get because like maybe i didn't have time today so yeah just try and be a better person like towards other people and for yourself and that's the end of the video <laughs> so like i look feel like the video is a bit sloppy but i hope you like took something or learned something from today's video like share comment subscribe subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video